10 years is how old freedom is today, December 1st, 2023. This is the first ever video I published on YouTube as the Freedom MCN. Let me play it for you on December 1st, 2013. Roll it. George is an MCN. That's right. We can now partner YouTube channel starting today. December 1st is our first launch. We have so much to build. That is what started the entire Freedom Family 10 years ago today. Happy anniversary, everybody who's partnered with Freedom or was in the past. Big Freedom Family hugs. What is the next 10 years going to look like? I will tell you, but first I want to share some of the wisdom that I gained over the last 10 years so it doesn't have to take you 10 years to learn the same things. I'm going to give you a shortcut to Wisdom by George. And of course, I'm going to use my own product, our Viki, to show it to you. A Viki is a video wiki, and that's part of Heartbeat, which is part of our next 10 years. So, wisdom I learned after 48 years of my life in the last, really, 10 years of building freedom. Lesson one, if you have information and you can get attention, then you will be rich. That's a very important message. It simply says you need only two things, information and the ability to grow an audience to get attention to make money. This is all what YouTubers are dreaming about. They have a passion for gaming, for music, for vlogging, for cooking, and they try to build an audience to make money from their information. Now, there's many ways to sell information. It doesn't have to be through video. You could be making a product. You could be making an online course. But the point is, two things to wealth. That's it. Information and attention. Now, Heartbeat is going to help you get attention. I'll talk about that later. Our, one of our stated goals of Heartbeat is to build the YouTube that once was. Do you remember the day when in the past, it was easier to grow your channel and get more views because YouTube promoted small channels. They don't anymore, but in the past they did. And YouTube will do that for everybody, a fair promotion, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Second piece of wisdom, you cannot save yourself rich. What that means is stop coupon clipping. Stop looking for discounts. Stop buying only when there is a 50% off sale at your favorite store. Buy what you need when you need it. Why? Because you cannot save yourself rich. The time you spend looking for deals would be much better spent building a business or thinking of ways to make money. It is counterproductive to be looking for discounts. Just buy what you need when you need it. If it happens to be on sale at the time you need it, great. But don't spend your time looking for those deals. Okay? Next piece of wisdom. Greatness is a lot of little things done well. And what, what I mean by that is details matter. Again, very important lesson. Don't just say good enough. Good enough is the enemy of humanity. Greatness is a lot of little things done well. An agreement, meaning a contract between two parties, is only as good as the people who sign it. What that means is just because you have a signed contract with a company or a person, don't think they will honor the agreement. A contract is only as good as the integrity of the people, two or more people, who sign it. Keep that in mind the next time you get into a deal with someone. A business, what is that? It is a system that adds value even when you are not there. Many of you think you have a business, but you don't. You're not business owners if you have to be there. You're business operators. You're just employees of yourself. You're self-employed. To truly be a business owner means you have to have a system that adds value even when you're not there. Meaning, if you're away for a month or a year, the business continues. It may not grow as fast as with your presence, but it continues to grow and make money even when you're not there. Otherwise, if 
you're a key man and the business can't run without you, you're an employee. You are a business operator, not a business owner. So be a business owner. Think about that. The gift that keeps on giving. How is this a piece of wisdom? Well, this is the kind of business you should build. Musicians know this very well. The successful ones, they have a hit single. They make money in royalties for the rest of their life. Some of these hit singles make so much money, they never have to work a day in their life more because it's the gift that keeps on giving. Think of businesses that earn you money when you stop working, meaning passive income. Making a video on YouTube is that. If you make a video, it gets views while you're sleeping. You make the time once to make the video and then it keeps on giving you the gift of views and revenue forever. So this brings us back to the first bit of advice. If you have information and can get attention, you will be rich. Use platforms like YouTube and Heartbeat that will let you get views while you're sleeping and revenue to be the gift that keeps on giving. Oh, a little too fast. First step is always the hardest, obviously. Anytime you start something new or you want to quit something like smoking or you want to do something like regular exercise, the first step is the hardest. Just push yourself or have someone else push you. Just do it. First step. Then it gets easier over time. Nobody argues with success. When I told my parents I quit my job at Microsoft, I did, I quit my job as a senior web developer at Microsoft in 2007, they were very unhappy because I said I'm going to become an entrepreneur. And they thought, George, what are you doing? You will lose all your savings. You're gonna just go back poor into a job in a few years when you burn through all your money. They were wrong. <laughs> now they are very happy with me because nobody argues with success. We are successful now. Freedom is successful. Heartbeat, I'm sure will be successful. Now, of course they do it with love. They fear that if I quit my well-paying job at Microsoft, that I will go downhill. But life is about choices and risks. Risk versus reward. You can't just keep doing the same thing that you're comfortable in if you want more. If you want a bigger reward, you have to take bigger risks. That's just how life works. So, I'm not saying don't take risks. I'm not saying uh, stay at your job. All I'm saying is whatever you do, remember, even the naysayers, no one will argue with success once you achieve it. What is an alcoholic? <laughs> now, this isn't to say any of you are alcoholics, but it's a metaphor. What is an alcoholic? Someone who cannot have just one drink. This is the same thing for chocolate lovers or binge watchers. If you start watching an episode of a show, some people can't stop until they finish the whole series. That's pretty bad. That's like an alcoholic. If you have a piece of chocolate, some people have to eat 10 more chocolates or finish the whole box of chocolates. They can't stop themselves or ice cream. Keep that in mind. Are you an alcoholic as a metaphor for some of your vices? Then just don't have the first one. Don't have the first drink. Don't have the first piece of chocolate. Don't watch the first episode if you know you're gonna get hooked into it. This is a good one. A life worth living. What is or what makes a life worth living? Challenges. Life without challenges is boring. And if you overcome challenges, you feel so good, you feel so empowered, and it makes a life worth living. In my opinion, of course, all of this is my opinion, guys. You don't have to agree with it. And I'm sure you may have different opinions, but in my opinion, challenges are what make a life worth living. This is just a fun one. The most dangerous part of flying is the drive to the airport. Because <laughs> airplanes are so safe. Now, of course, there are airplane crashes and things that happen, but it happens so rarely that the most, statistically, the most dangerous part of flying is the drive to the airport. Context is for kings. Now, I did not understand this one for a long time. It was the title of one of my favorite episodes in uh, Star Trek Enterprise. 
No, Star Trek Discovery, yes. Context is for kings means if you're a leader or a decision maker, then you can break the rules. If you're not, then you get punished for breaking the rules. Someone who's a king can do things and justify it because he's the king. However, the context for, let's say, a peasant doing the exact same thing as the king did would be punished. So be a leader. Be in a position of power because then you will have the power to use context, make changes, to do things that you feel are right without getting punished. I mean, you have to be accountable for your actions. If you do something as a king and it turns out to be bad, well, you're going to suffer for it because bad things will happen. But my point is you have that power and it's a good thing to have. You use it responsibly, of course, with any kind of power. There are only two temperatures in Dubai. You know what they are? Hot and hotter. <laughs> Actually, right now it's pretty cool in Dubai, December 1st. But in general, there's two temperatures in Dubai. Hot and hotter. And I, I always wear short sleeves. Even in the coldest months, like December, January, I always wear short sleeves. So it really is just hot and hotter. School teaches you to be a good employee. Whoop, wrong button. Not an entrepreneur. If you want to learn how to run a business, you're not going to learn it from school. School is, school's mission is to make good employees for business owners. It's meant to graduate people so that they can get a job. <laughs> That's what they always tell you, right? Career days and all these uh, interns, that internships, it's all about working for someone else. There is in the public education system, no focus on teaching you to be an entrepreneur. You have to learn that by yourself. I did. I was an employee, a very good one at Microsoft. I was teaching engineering excellence classes to Microsoft employees about web development by the time I left. However, I was not a good entrepreneur because when I tried to make my own business, I failed. Then I tried another business, failed again. Another business, failed again. It was probably my fourth business, which was YouTube-based, that finally became successful. But by then I had run out of all my savings and borrowed money from my parents, just like my parents predicted. However, the fourth time was the time where I finally made it work. And then it worked beautifully. Now we're very successful and we're just continuing to grow. And you will grow with us if you partner with us, either on freedom or on Heartbeat. Freedom Talent, that's our talent management agency. Heartbeat is the YouTube that once was, a publishing platform that pays you a penny when you earn a penny and gives you movies, not movies, <laughs> moments, which you can make moments about movies. Moments, photos and video uh, and writing, which is a multi-format platform, whereas YouTube is just single format, it's just video. You can't do any writing, comments don't count. Uh, and descriptions are full of follow me on Twitter links and uh, you can't do any photos. It's basically just thumbnails All right Here's okay. We'll end it here. This is one of my favorite phrases What do we say to the god of death? Not today <laughs> Now I have a moment here and this is a video clip on Heartbeat, that is where this quote came from. Let me play it for you. Roll it! Oh, I said roll it! <laughs> what do we say to the god of death? Not today. That's right! So, what do you guys think of my 48 years, my highlighted words of wisdom. Tell me down there in the comments below which one of these is your favorite. Do you have any wisdom to share? I would love to hear your words of wisdom in the comments below. And let's talk a little about Heartbeat. So what is Heartbeat? Type h.ki into your browser. Here, I'll show you. You just go and type h.ki enter. When you do, you get redirected to heartbeat.love, all the things you love. 
And the first thing you should do is go click on Moments extension and install Heartbeat Moments, now with 249 users. This is the tool that will let you create moments by pressing the H key. See h.ki? It's pronounced H key. That's not a coincidence to us choosing H key as the hotkey for creating moments on YouTube. So when you're on YouTube, let's just go to YouTube, and you're watching any video on YouTube, not just a freedom video, let's take one at random here, finally monetized. And you come across something exciting, let's say you get to a point in the video that you found really helpful and interesting, press H. That's it. Now you have a moment. And that moment is there forever. You can come back to it at any time. Click. And when you go to H key, and you go to My Heartbeat, there it is. There's your moment. You'll never lose it. The whole point is it'll save you time. Why? Because you watch a lot of videos, right? You come across a lot of cool moments, right? And you forget them all, right? I mean, you might remember them for a short time, but you'll forget them eventually. Not if you use Heartbeat and press the H key every time something exciting happens. A cool chorus in some music video, an amazing stunt, uh, something informative. Anything you find interesting, just press H. And there it is, it'll just stay there forever. The exact second that that moment you press H for is recorded for all time. Now you can, of course, modify it. Here I am editing my moment. Just click this little edit. You can nudge it. Let's go back a second, a few seconds maybe, or forward, or just a few point one seconds. You can get the exact start time, give it a title, you know, how to make money on YouTube. And then you're done. So once you've created your moment and tweaked it, then it's there forever. Now this isn't the moment I want, so I'm going to delete it. <laughs> but my point is, that's the first thing you should do when you come to Heartbeat, is install the Chrome extension, and then start pressing H while watching any video on YouTube.com. I took a shower just before making this video, but my hair is like a little too clean. It's kind of like falling all over the place. Sorry about that, guys. And uh, yeah, what else is Heartbeat? Heartbeat is photos. Here, if you click photos, you can Upload your favorite photos. Remember I mentioned it's multi-format. Now you're gonna be able to monetize all this, guys. You'll make money off all these photos and moments that you create, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But here is a clickless gallery. You just hover. Very simple, saves you time. No clicking back and forward on most galleries. See, I'm just hovering. If I wanna zoom into something, like let's take a look at this pool, just mouse wheel. There you go, you're zoomed in. And you can even share that link, uh, just like in a Google Maps link of just this zoomed in point. How do you do that? Just hold the control key, move the mouse to the address, the URL, copy that, paste it in email, WhatsApp, whatever you like, Discord, and then it'll show exactly this zoomed in portion. Very cool, huh? And there's a lot of features with uh, Heartbeat. You just click the little settings button, and then you can see many of them. And the hotkeys, just press the question mark. Click that little question mark icon and you can see all the hotkeys to all the features we've built so far. And we'll be making a lot more. But try it out. So again, start at h.ki, h key, and then click photos. You can click Vicky as well. Let me show you Vicky. It's our video wiki. Ooh, I'm zoomed in. So these are some of the Vickies that are available. This is just a prototype. You can't edit this, but you will very soon when we add writing to Heartbeat. And you can see, I mentioned music. This is one of my favorite songs from Pentatonix. And I have moments like a female vocalist. Who said I, you do not know? Now, I don't want to play it too long because I'm going to get a uh, copyright match and uh, I won't be able to monetize this video. But you can watch all this just by, again, start at h.ki and then click on all the other links to see all the content. Now we have a lot of moments. And if you search for me, George, you can see I am here with 30 followers and you can see all of my heartbeats. But don't just look at me, go and browse everybody's heartbeats. You could either click on videos or you can go to featured or you can just search. Like if you wanna search for something like, I don't know, Halsey, a popular singer. We have a bit, uh, her performances of Lilith live as well as official music. Let's see if you just want music in general, just search for music. There's a lot of musical moments. 
that people have created. Basically, we have 6,000 unique con pieces of content on Heartbeat right now from 600 users. These are the people who click the sign in button. See, I'm signed in here. You just use your Google account. You don't need to create a new email password. Just sign in with your existing Google account. And so we have a lot of content already. So feel free to explore 6,000 pieces of content. Now that's, you know, not really that much compared to YouTube of course, and other platforms, but we're just getting started, guys. We will have 60,000, 6 million, 600 million pieces of content in the future. But for now, it's 6,000 with 600 users who created those 6,000 photos and moments. All right, Freedom Family. I think I'll stop there. Just give a quick preview. Like, we're going to be adding Heartbeat Studio soon. That's the monetization the analytics piece of Heartbeat, where you'll get paid a penny when you earn a penny. That's our payments uh, system. Just like YouTube has YouTube Studio, we will have Heartbeat Studio. Then we're going to add writing where you can blog about anything, have user comments about anything. You could create short articles about anything, microblogging. That's all with writing. And then we're going to do community wiki style editing where anyone can contribute to anybody's article. Hey, I see you made a spelling mistake. Let me fix that for you. Done. Now. He has to approve it. It doesn't just automatically get approved. But the point is, anyone will be able to contribute to anybody else's work to improve it so we can all grow together as a family, literally, with wiki style editing on Heartbeat. And then we're going to add super tags. We're going to add a rep system where people who do good behavior will build their rep so they won't need to get their edits approved. They'll just be instantly approved. We're going to pay everybody 55% of all the revenue generated around your content as a creator, just like YouTube does. But we will also pay the contributors. Anyone who edits or improves anything on Heartbeat will get paid from our 45% cut. Our contributor share takes nothing away from the writer, the author, the 55%. He makes the same amount of money, whether or not he uses other people's photos, other people's music, other people's moments or if other people help him improve his content he still gets 55 percent but all those photos he used moments he used all of the help he accepted they get paid from our 45 percent cut as a contributor share so everybody gets paid everybody gets paid on heartbeat which isn't the case on youtube youtube pays one person the guy who made the video and it's his job to pay everybody they also have another system where they pay the person who made the video, nothing. And they redirect all revenue to a rights holder. Let's say someone's music was used. YouTube feels the right solution is pay nothing to the guy who made the video and pay everything to the guy who claims the music. Even if the music is only like 10 seconds of a 20 minute video, 100% of the revenue goes to the music label. Is that fair? Well, I don't think so. Uh, and so we're gonna fix that and we're gonna have a much more fair revenue share where everybody makes money. Musicians, record labels, uh, photographers, writers, curators, everybody gets paid. Editors, you name it. So I hope you're excited for everything we're building for you on h.ki, hkey for heartbeat. And uh, grow with us, join us on this journey. Sign in, start creating moments, and let's, for the next 10 years, keep growing together as a family. And who am I? I am your Papa George, the CEO and founder of Freedom and Heartbeat and a few other brands, but I am here for you. We're gonna do this together. Let's grow together. Till the next episode. I am George and you've been watching. Ooh, you're dreaming about love. Yeah. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty-free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help 
you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.